Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video and in this one we're going to be installing complementary shaders for Minecraft 1.16.5. That's right, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to install complementary shaders with the complementary resources that come with the pack. It's a little bit different from just installing any other shader like BSL or Chocopic or Silder's Vibrant, so that's why I felt like updating this tutorial. I have done a tutorial like this one before, it's gonna be similar, but I hope I can explain it even better and even clearer this time around. Of course, before we get started, if you're into Minecraft videos, I like this one. First of all, drop a like on this specific video, and then of course, also hit that big red subscribe button if you're interested in this type of content. And if you're looking for a good and reliable Minecraft server host, you know what to do. Check out the link down below to Apex Minecraft hosting. If you do use my link, I will earn a small commission and you indirectly support the channel with your Minecraft server. All right, without further ado, here's how to install complementary shaders for Minecraft 1.16.5. So as always, I will have put the links down below in the description to every single page and thing that we need to do and download for this video. But of course, I will also show you how to do these things manually, how to look up every single thing that you need manually. So don't worry about that too much. So we're gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna assume you don't even have Optifine just yet. If you do, you can use the time stamps down below in the description or on the video to actually skip to the part where we add the shaders but I'm gonna assume you don't have Optifine yet so you can't even load any shaders at all. What you want to do in that case is make sure you run Minecraft 1.16.5 just once before trying to install Optifine because it will only work if you have 1.16.5 installed. So what you do is open up your Minecraft launcher and then what you do is select the latest release which is going to be 1.16.5. Now if you're watching this somewhere in the far future and 1.16.5 is no longer the latest release, what you can do is come over to installations, click new right here, create a new profile and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine just Daniel. And then under version here, there will be another version, which will then be the latest release. So what you gotta do then is actually just scroll down until you see release 1.16.5. But in this case, you will find it at the top because it is the latest release. And then once you got that done, you click create. And now you have a profile that is called, well, in my case, Daniel, and it will run on 1.16.5. All you need to do now is click play on this profile to download and install 1.16.5. So once that's done and you're actually on the main menu of Minecraft 1.16.5, you just click quick game and now we can get started downloading and installing Optifine. So to do that, either use the link down below in the description or open up your browser and do a quick Google search for Optifine or just Optifine.net. Anyway, you just wanna go over to Optifine.net this way or using the link down below in the description, come over to downloads right here and then click download on the one that is Minecraft 1.16.5. It might actually be a newer version if you're watching this in the far future. Then you have to click show all versions and just come down here until you see Minecraft 1.16.5 which might be way more down here in the future. But for now, it's at the top here and you just click this download button. If you don't want to see any ads, you can click the mirror button. But if you do want to support the creator Optifine, you click download right here. Then you'll see this ad page where you just have to wait five seconds for a skip button to appear, which we can then click to actually proceed to the download page. Now what I like to do is open up a new tab because the other tab, this download tab, is going to redirect you a bunch of times. So you click this or download right here and then close this tab immediately. As you can see, we started the download, but we avoided the ads. As you can see, because we're on Google Chrome, you'll see this warning that says this type of file can harm your computer. That's just because it's a .jar file. It will do that for every .jar file. Just click keep right here. It's perfectly safe if you use the links that I put in the description. Now you can actually come over to downloads using control J. It still hasn't finished. There we go. And now as you can see, for me, it has this Java icon, but for many people, it does not. So we're going to fix that real quick. If you actually do have Java installed, then all you need to do is use the link down below in the description that says jar fix, or just do a quick Google search for jar fix and use the link at the top here. Then scroll down a little bit until you see jarfix.exe right here and you click that. This will download a file called jarfix.exe. And if you just open that, you will actually fix your jar file extensions. There we go. It says the .jar suffix has been registered successfully. Now, if this says that you don't have Java and you need to download it, the link in the menu will probably not work, which is fine. What you got to do then is actually use the second link down below in the description that says Java download. 
and use that one to actually download and install Java. This should bring you to a page similar to this one where you just click this large red button that says agree and start free download. You just click that install Java and then use Jarfix or just actually refresh your browser or download folder wherever you're trying to open up to find from and then it should actually show you this Java icon right here. So then we can actually move on to installing Optifine. All you do is actually just try to open this file and you should see this installer. All you gotta do is click install right here. It'll take a few seconds and then it will say, okay, Optifine is installed. That's great. Now what we're gonna do is actually open Minecraft and launch it with Optifine for Minecraft 1.60.5. So open up your Minecraft launcher check if you actually have this Optifine profile selected right here. If you can't find it, go over to installations and it should be somewhere in here. Use the one that says Optifine, click play, you'll get a warning, which is totally fine. It's just something new Mojang implemented. Just click, I understand the risks because there's not that many risks to it really. And then you just click play. So this is perfect. We're in Minecraft and as you can see, it now says modded. And if you come over to options, video settings, it will say in the bottom left corner, Optifine HD G7 Ultra or some other version. As long as it's Minecraft 1.60.5, it will work. As you can see, we now have a shaders option right here, and this will make it very easy later on in this tutorial to actually install the complementary shaders. For now, just go back to the main menu and minimize Minecraft. And what we're gonna do now is download and install complementary shaders. So open up your browser or once again, use the link down below in the description. Quick Google search for complementary shaders should take you to this page that says complementary shaders on CurseForge. So this is the page you need. Now all you need to do is scroll down to recent files here, select the one that says Minecraft 1.16 and click the download icon right here. Now wait five seconds and then a download will automatically start. As you can see, we've downloaded complementary shaders. Now for this, you will need WinRAR, but usually you have something similar on your computer already, which can unpack these zip files. So instead of dragging this zip file over to shaders immediately, as is usually the case with other shaders, with this one, you need to actually open it because it has two components inside. It has the complementary resources, which is a texture pack, and then it has complementary shaders, which is the actual shader pack. So what we need to do is drag both of these to our desktop to make things way easier, just like that. And now what you wanna do is come back into Minecraft, go into options, resource packs, and now you can drag the one that says complementary resources over here. It will ask you, do you want to add the following packs to Minecraft? And you click yes and you move it over to the right just like that and click done. So that's it for the resource pack and now if you come over to video settings, shaders just like that, the dragging trick won't work but if you click shaders folder right here, this should open the right folder for the shader pack and then all you gotta do is drag complementary shaders in here and that is it. Now if you come back into Minecraft, it's usually already there, sometimes you just gotta go back to the main menu for it to refresh then go back into options, video settings, and shaders, and there it is. Now, actually, we don't have to do anything anymore because this should detect the resource pack by default. So you just click complementary shaders, it should load, and then after that, as you can see, it's selected. So what I'm gonna do now is actually show you whether it worked or not. So I'm gonna hop into a world and I'll see you there. So here we are in a 1.16.5 world. This looks so pretty. This looks so good with the complementary shaders and the complementary resources. As you can see, they work and the textures are really, really good. This looks very, very cool. And same for the gold block. And also many, many other blocks like ores and stuff like that will have been affected by this pack and the shader pack. So this is really, really cool. This is one of the best shader packs in my opinion. I mean, it's not a low end shader pack. It definitely is not. And as you can see, there are some settings in the shader pack that will actually mimic the look of Bedrock RTX because this water looks very suspiciously similar to the way it looks in bedrock. So that's been it for this video. I hope this video actually did help you out in installing complementary shaders for Minecraft 1.16.5. If it actually did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and of course, subscribe for more of these kinds of videos. And then as always, I'll of course, catch you in the next one. See ya.